Are you trying to set up a Zoom meeting without a password? Hey guys, this is Zemi from DMC. I've been scheduling lots of different Zoom meetings and also Zoom uh, webinars uh, online to actually host my sharing sessions and also my workshop. And in this video, I'll be sharing with you if uh, how can you actually set up a Zoom meetings without password. So that's when the moment that you share the invitations link to your audience, your participants, straight away, very fast, they can just um, you know join to your meetings um, you know without entering a single password. And let's go into our step-by-step -step sharing. Now, sometimes you'll be looking at some, you know, certain Zoom meeting it required password and certain Zoom meet meeting it doesn't require passwords. How do you, you know, actually set up a meeting that without a password, right? So um, in this video, I'll be focusing on without a password. But if you want to know how to set a password, uh, basically, is at exactly the same section itself. Yeah. So over right here, if you can see, um, you know, I've been using my um, Zoom for across all my workshops, my online meeting and things like that, right? So once you're in your Zoom accounts, you can see that over right here, there's actually a schedule new meeting. You can just click under here, okay? So um, same things, what you're going to do is that uh, for the meeting topic, you're going to just set your meetings. Uh, so let's say I'm going to do a meeting. My, my, my topic is how to set meetings without password <laughs> so later i'm going to delete this demo itself yeah so um you need to ensure that um, you know your time zone is correct uh, your duration meeting is correct if you're using a free account it only requires you maximum of 40 minutes yep yeah? um if you're using a paid accounts the basic i mean the pro version itself right it allows you to create uh, up to 24 hours okay so you you can host the whole training for 24 hours right so i'm going to go under here okay the meeting id and you can see over right here under the security section the passcode um you can actually untick that okay so if you can see when you tick this is called required a password okay if you want a password then you come here the generate automatically um Every single time that you are having a different meeting, you will regenerate a new idea again. So if you don't want the, um, you know, if you if you just uh, don't want the password, what you can do is that you can just hide this. If you want the password, you can just unhide and you can actually uh, customize your own, you know, your own password itself. So you know, up to you how what what do you want to you know to type in for the password. But this video I'll be focusing on without um the passwords, right? So what you can do uncheck this. And you can um, leave the waiting room check because when the moments that the users are coming in, you know, the participant is coming in and uh, before even you start the meeting, they'll be able to see a message of like, uh, wait for the host to actually start the sessions. Yeah? So usually I will leave this on and I will just go ahead and click on save. Okay, so to let you see uh, what is going to show so right here, right? So right on. After you save, you can see that it's down here. Uh, for security passcode, it has been, you know, unchecked. So there's no password required. So what you can do is that you can just come over to here, copy the link invitations, and you can just copy this uh, message to the uh, users that you would like to invite them to join in. Or else, right, um, basically you can just give them this meeting ID. So in my case, I will just take this meeting ID. So let's say I'm going to join into a, a, a meetings, right? I'm going to use my Zoom app. I'm going to join the meeting and I just paste this meeting ID and that's it. So I'll be in, but because of uh, I'm actually in a waiting room, um, most of the time that if let's say there's a meeting with the passwords, right, before even you enter to this 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 uh, page, right, after you type in the meeting ID, it will actually prompt you for the password. So you need to key in the password. So um, without the ID, it will be much more easier. Uh, if I say you are actually hosting a big crowd of a meeting and you know users can just click into the link and they can just join to your meetings just directly. So this you most of the time we are actually targeting for the public public sessions. Um, you know, by the time that we are using this um, Zoom meeting without the password. Yep. So that's all in this video that I wanted to share with you. You can leave a comment below if you have uh, successfully, you know, removed the password settings for your Zoom meetings. And I will see you in the next video.
Thank you for watching. If you like our video, remember to leave your comment below. Help us like and share. If you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to click on the subscribe button and most importantly, hit on the bell icon so that you'll be able to receive notifications when we launch our new video. See you in the next video. Thank you.